shovel nose I've ever had. He is not aggressive at all. I mean, usually every single one I've had before is just a hitter. Yeah, look at how long those whiskers are. No ammonia, no nitrate. My Baramundi, that's Topo. He is getting big. But, but, where's Wimpy? I got uh, my Datinoid, my NTT thin bar, three bar, grade triple, I don't know. So many people tell me so many things. Here's my Thames. Getting pretty big, it's about six, seven inches now. Where's Wimpy at? Oh, yeah, there's Wimpy. Oh, there he is. That's why he got his name. Yo, yo, lo, check out my girl. Check this little trick out. I got like a jump on myself now. See, I put the, that piece of dampener and it causes it to only focus to shoot off like that. Way more aeration. That's the old UV sterilizer. The old pump. And there's uh, 115 pounds of median here from ceramic to quartz. All over here. I'm a big, big component of biological filtration. I will go for that more than anything. That's a pretty shot of that pen. Look at that. This is glare. Man named glare. This is anything glares at him. He just takes off on him. And we got a tank. Run. That's run for obvious reasons. And the third one I didn't really name yet. Oh, there it is. There's my dad. This thing is getting massive. This thing is not doing it justice. That's the cicada pot it's next to. It's like eight inches. And he's getting huge. Can definitely rule the roost in here, except for when it comes to piglet. But, uh, there's my wife's weird fish. Inconspicuous and drabbly big. The rat cat. He's chill. Kind of aggressive for a draft cat, though. Definitely uh, knows his place. Not afraid of anybody. Um, his tams are so pretty. Got these guys in there an inch. So super stoked to see them grow out. Same with him. My Berramonde. Super aggressive fish. Would not recommend that fish for any less than a 500 gallon tank for a community. I don't, it, he, he has a little bit of aggression issues in here. See, so he, he likes everybody to know he's the boss, especially when it comes to the perch and bass. He doesn't really mess with any other fish except for the perch and the bass. He won't mess with the datinoid. When I first put them in here together, they went at it for one night, and the uh, barramundi didn't catch the, the good end of that, which is... What I've started to notice is fish that are more uh, wide body and taller, rather than longer, like this, usually fare better when they're in a little scuffle for some reason. <clears throat> it's the same with, let me see over here, my... Sparata cat. Why I think he would dethrone the wiki cat for most aggressive freshwater fish in the world is because see that extra muscle right behind the head? See that? It goes in the um, dorsal fin and then all the way back to where that dot is. That is solid meat. I mean muscle. And that's one thing the wiki cats don't have. That right there is flat and very streamlined. Um, same kind of mouth, same kind of uh, face. Also, everything that comes from Southeast Asia is just immensely angry mean. I mean, that's just what the dat noise that come from there, the Asian red tail catfish. I mean, everything that comes from Southeast Asia is angry. 
don't know why. They're also some of my favorite, though. These dudes have been doing real well. Both been feeding. I'm actually starting to get more enjoyment out of them. What, you? Trying to bully me? Female purebred gold azul. 24 karat Calibri. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know on this one. It's got all the spots of a 10, but it blues up like an azul. So I'm kind of more leaning towards hybrid on that one. So here's a pure gold azul. And then look at this one. So you can tell it has something else in it. It's not pure azul. And Bucky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People ask me what kind of filtration I have. I call this the Pimp PetSmart, right? So like this tank, you can go to PetSmart and order a 250 gallon from Aquan. You can go buy these FX6s, which there's three of them on this 250 gallon. The Equal Flux wave making machine, you can see the actuators back there on the wall. That you're not gonna be able to get at PetSmart, but um, it's also controlled with a remote control, I don't know. if it is right this second though I just leave it on full blast but yeah that's a 250 in a nutshell E-Flux wave makers it's about 750 for the whole system uh, FX6's you can get these at PetSmart on sale for like 250 originally they are like 399 or something extremely the best canister filter out there in my opinion I own 14 of them from the FX5, FX4 and FX6 so I feel I got a good grasp on what's going on if they suck or not. The Sun Suns, okay. It's just, they look like a stormtrooper. Um, they're extremely ugly. I mean, I don't know. Like, if this stuff all didn't match, it would be bothering the crap out of me. So, you know, the top of the Sun Suns black and then the bottom is white. Looks like a stormtrooper. But eh, I've ran that one as well. The UV sterilizer. It's okay. It's it's a good canister for smaller aquariums, but not monster fish by any means. I would definitely say the FX6 is the king of the the canisters, the buy at a pet store canisters. There's that Sparata cat. That's the difference in levels in fish keeping. He's pretty advanced. Super duper duper can't buy nothing of his pet coat. I built everything from the stands that the plants are on, everything from the lid to the sump, from the sump itself. Really excited to get my new pump in and the new uh, UV sterilizer. Be awesome. What's up, pigs? Look at his knuckle hump starting to really get big in the summertime. He's starting to get a lot of fat deposits right by his eyes now, too. Hey, Mr. About five years old now. Had him since he's the size of a quarter. That was a cool little pickup I got for free. My buddy was getting out of the hobby and got rid of that, so I thought, I'll take it. Pretty cool little loach. Well, aggression issues. <laughs> trickle what is it dude what you want to fight regular fish keepers net my fish net decided to get to this that's why I had to hook up the other FX6 because I got to tear all this out and redo it which is going to end up going into um, <sighs> one and a half inch or two inch I'm going to use instead of these one inch. There's going to be a lot of water coming down. And uh, definitely I'm going to need to get to that ASAP. See how that, those holes right there, that's where I'm going to plummet. So they're going to go straight through there instead of all three going into one. 
it's going to be two into one into the two inch and a one and a half inch over to itself that lead into a three which will dump into the aqua sock so it's going to be a lot of water there's going to be um nine thousand gallons an hour and just pumps going through here and then i'm going to really start going crazy with um stocking and everything else there's gonna be so much current it'll shoot down hit the bottom here and swirl and come all the way back up and then the other pump will be running the uh, inline UV sterilizer mm, get some algae growth huh. oh yeah all right well I'm getting out of here I'm gonna start my day